And this comment writes, as someone who has done a lot of ride-alongs with law enforcement, I can tell you these idiots also add to the response time of emergency services. What's up, people? So today I wanted to do a response video to my video previously about left lane losers, basically relating to the horrible and woeful lane discipline on our American highways and what that means. And more specifically, I wanted to talk about all of the response to this video. The video in the last week and a half or so has got 140,000 views, which is enormous for my channel. Uh, it's got 4,200 comments where we're going to read some of them because it's astonishing. And uh, I think we're all going to learn something here together and come up to a conclusion with where the problem of bad lane discipline and where the danger in these highways is coming. And I think we're all going to relate better from these comments and looking at it. Uh, first note I really want to make regarding that, that uh, video, there were some trolls out there going, here is speeding. Uh, <laughs> no, no, I wasn't. Again, I was telling you I am doing the speed limit or under and was telling you specifically what it was. Do you really think I'm going to make a video about laws and traffic laws and not do my best job to obey them as well? Yeah, come on. That The other thing goes with some people saying I wasn't using turn signals. As a note, I can push this turn signal stock with one finger, and I can either click it all the way very dramatically for you to see, or like a normal person on the highway, just use one tiny little finger and move it an eighth of an inch just to hold it so it's in the on position and release it. So just want to make note that no issues there. But I want to go over some of the top comments that I think really shows the majority of the populace's thoughts on these left lane hogs and discipline. And the first one here with 2,800 likes is a comment that says, I ran about this all the time and the people that are often the offenders of this say, well, you should be going the speed limit and it's not called the fast lane. <laughs> he goes, you're right. It's not called the fast lane. It's called the passing lane. Okay. And that, that got 147 replies. And that is a, uh, a key part of this whole video. Do we call the left lane the fast lane or do we call it the passing lane? People call it both. So hold on to that thought. We're going to come back to it. Another top comment with uh, 1,400 likes and 30 replies. This person writes, most people are too ego-based when it comes to driving. Everything is interpreted as a personal attack against them. It's frustrating. Well, this person has a great uh, point, and they've had 30 replies and a whole lot of likes, so I think that's right. You know, on the highway, we are all trying to go somewhere together, and we are all fellow motorists. So really, it's all of our jobs to interact and pay attention to other people and look out for them. Truthfully, not everybody's going the same speed. And you know what? Somebody's going to make a mistake or not pay attention. Maybe they're not going to signal. Maybe they have a mechanical difficulty with their truck or car or motorcycle. So it's really up to all of us to pay attention to that to get somewhere. I know that we all have difficult things in life going on. Maybe you just lost a loved one. Maybe you're sick. Maybe you're having a horrible job. You're in a hurry. You're late. Okay, that's called life. But we're all in this together. So let's all cool down a little bit and look at what this whole lane discipline thing is about. I just wanted to say that. So going on a little bit more, uh, another top comic, <laughs> which is funny, this person writes, this is why we can't have nice things like the American Autobahn with 422 likes and 16 replies. And you know what? You're right, dude. This is why we can't have nice things like higher speed limits. I mean, speed limits have changed very little since, God, what, the 1950s or 60s when people were driving cars with no seatbelts, no airbags, bias ply tires, and horrible crash protection and general horror dynamics and probably cars that were still having drum brakes. So that, that does go to show something. But I want to go on here, just read some more comments for you guys. It's because it's fascinating when we get into it. Trust me, this is going to get interesting. This person writes, For the love of God, everyone and their mothers and grandmothers need to see this video. I love driving, but hate people driving. I uh, appreciate it, man. I, I think you're right on that Left Lane Loser video. Uh, a lot of people thought that. Now, this video, this comment here got 760 likes and five replies. This person writes, this should be playing at the DMV while you wait. Well, first of all, thank you, uh, but I appreciate that. And I think that goes to show that people are really resonating with that left lane loser video and lane discipline and how important it is. And I think that also goes to show that people are starting to think that maybe we need to teach better. So we'll come back to that as well. Here's a comment I thought was pretty funny, actually. And this person writes, I'm going to put an accent on it, too. Sorry if it's a bad accent. This person writes, in Soviet Russia, you get shot if you drive in the right lane. <laughs> 
I thought that was funny. Uh, and then this person writes, I just got my driver's permit and this has been so helpful. That was an honest comment and I appreciate it, man. So I'm glad that helped you out. Now this person writes, and this is going to start, this is going to, this is going to, this is going to escalate quickly, guys. And to a lot of these nasty comments, I actually got from the filter that takes out angry, nasty comments. And a number of comments I couldn't even find anymore because they got thumbs down and they were at the bottom of like 4,000 comments. But this person writes, in all capital letters, mind you, you ass clown, just go with the flow. Left lane goes faster than right lane. If people didn't tailgate, there would be no problem. Whoa, okay, first of all, <laughs> dude, I don't know where you're coming from. And I think you're off base relating to what the video was about. It was about lane discipline. But let's analyze this guy's comment anyway. He writes, just go with the flow, and left lane goes faster than the right lane. If people didn't tailgate, there would be no problem. You know, tailgating has nothing to do with lane discipline. That just has to do with somebody not making a good conscious choice of having assured clear distance when they're driving a car. Uh, it goes to show they're angry uh, and probably trying to go faster. Now, I can tell you that if we had better lane discipline, people who are moving at a quicker rate of speed, regardless of what that is, uh, would be able to flow through traffic better and traffic in general would be safer and flow better. So I think you're off base. And also, um, just as much as people mistake making these major mistakes, uh, all capital letters mean you're screaming. So no reason to scream, dude. And this comment writes, as someone who has done a lot of ride-alongs with law enforcement, I can tell you these idiots also add to the response time of emergency services. He's referring to the left lane hogs in the videos. And I gotta be honest, dude, you're right. Recently, on, recently I was on I-75 and there was an ambulance coming up because there's a major fire with a pileup. Uh, who knows why it was caused, but yeah, they had that problem. Uh, I saw and heard them and got the heck out of the way early. But, uh, you know, left lane hogs are a problem even for law enforcement and emergency. Um, this is a fascinating comment. This person writes, I'm from Cali. California for short. I have never heard of this rule. We just overtake everyone. <laughs> okay, fair enough. I've driven through LA and uh, if you're in LA, it helps to have a very fast sports car because it's basically one notch down from full Mad Max out there and everybody just goes for it. Uh, which says that there's a big problem in California highways. Uh, overcrowding, of course, is a thing, but terrible lane discipline uh, bad teaching of drivers uh, is going to be the first and foremost one. Um, you guys seem to have a lot of problems in California. Maybe you want to work on that one, okay? This one is also in all capital letters. This person writes, I was clapping and cheering because someone finally articulated what I have been feeling. Well, all right. I'm glad I got your back, and I hope people listen to this. <laughs> this is important. Now, here's where it's going to get fun, you guys, on these comments, and I entitled this one, Idiots. <laughs> if that means anything to you. So this guy writes, now this is my favorite one. This is where like lunatics exist on the internet. Saw this dude pull up in front of me and went really fast in his nice car. So I pulled in front of him and went 15 below the speed limit. Ambulances, am I right? <laughs> all right, man. First of all, I'm just gonna go so as far as to say you never saw me. Uh, and I wasn't going really fast because one, uh, I like to actually keep my license. And yeah, if you drive a car that's kind of flashy, people are gonna pay attention. So the other thing is, if I wanted to go really fast in this car, uh, stock, 20 some years ago, it would do 190 miles an hour. I'm pretty sure you couldn't catch me. But one, I'm not gonna do that. And secondly, if you were actually able to get in front of me and slow me down to 15 miles an hour under the speed limit, I would choose to safely and legally go around you because that is lame. So, I uh, don't know where you're coming from, and this whole ambulance says, am I right thing? Mm, no. So uh, let's let's just not say stupid things. This person here writes, why don't you just slow the f down? <laughs> well, man, you know, that is an option. I could just slow down. However, if you recall in my left lane loser video, a lot of that time I was saying I was going under the speed limit. So, I, you know, I could also ride a horse, or take my bicycle, but I chose to drive a car and I like the highway to actually have good lane discipline so we can all safely arrive there in an efficient manner. So that's why I don't just slow the F down. This person writes, and this one might be fun, I drive the, and this is in all cap letters, I drive the speed limit in the left lane, you know, obeying the law. If any silly 
Pirates want to start trouble, that's fine. My dash cam will capture everything. And this particular thinks everyone needs to get out of his way. How about he match the flow of traffic and quit thinking he's so ducking special? Actually, he did write ducking special, so I assume it autocorrect got you there. <laughs> but anyway, um, okay, man, so let's analyze what you just said. You drive the speed limit in the left lane, obeying the law. Now, you are obeying the law in terms of the speed limit, but unless you are simply passing people all the time at the speed limit and no one is coming up behind you. Meaning if you are ever doing that and you have lanes on your right, i.e. the middle one or the right lane clear and you're not driving in it or there's people behind you, you are officially breaking the law. The left lane or lefter lanes is for passing and you're hogging it. That's illegal. You will get pulled over. You will get a ticket. Oy vey. And this person, uh, my dash cam will capture everything. And he is, uh, you know, verbally assaulting me here on the internet. Dude, like, it's okay if you don't know the law. But I'm telling you the law right now. And this is your opportunity to chill and, you know, go on like a normal human being a little bit. Uh, and um, no, I said nothing in this video about I want everybody to get out of my way. I was doing the left lane loser video to highlight the difficulties of lane discipline and why it's important. So moving on. This one is fun. This person quotes me in the video and says that I said something like, and makes highways not fun to drive on. That's what I said. I think I probably said that. And this person writes, so were highways constructed for you to have fun on? Go to a track and get the f off the highway, you dip <laughs> All right. I love the verbal assaults. Um, you know, this is America and America is a car culture. We enjoy our freedom. We enjoy our cars. And we've done that for decades and decades and decades. That's why things like a 57 Chevy are iconic because Americans like to go out, see the world, see beautiful scenery, listen to the radio, some crunchy tunes, and guess what? Have some fun. Fun has nothing to do with going fast or not. And that has to do with you're in a sports car or cruising car. So um, I don't know where this psycho self-righteous attitude is coming from, but um, yeah, I'm glad the filter caught your comment. Okay, so the next one, <laughs> this person writes, I will stay my ass in the lane if I am following the speed limit, usually five over. Shouldn't be breaking the law because you're an impatient <laughs> Okay, man. So first of all, uh, the speed limit are five over. I'm not going to bust your balls on being five over because, frankly, there is stuff written in, in laws, I believe, about flow of traffic. And generally speaking, flows of traffic in many cities are generally everybody speeding. So you would actually be more unsafe to go the speed limit or slower if the entire world is speeding. But that is not for this video. We'll talk about that again another time. But um, this this last quote here, or this last comment really comes down to the issue we're all facing with these so-called left lane hogs and left lane losers. The left lane hogs are happening uh, primarily simply to poor education, poorly educated drivers. Uh, in Ohio, there are signs recently that says, camp in our state parks, not our left lanes. And that's an attempt at informing people, but nobody knows what that means or cares. Because these people don't actually know it's illegal to drive like that in the left lane when traffic is trying to flow. They simply don't know, which is reflected in many of the comments on my video that they didn't even know. And nice people are going, wow, I didn't know this. So there's where we have poor education in America for drivers. And frankly, we should likely the easiest thing to do to partially fix this problem is, one, put this in the curriculum of drivers in the future and driving tests. Two, put signs on the highway that says left lane is for passing. Do not drive in left lane. Find out whatever the most efficient verbiage is to do that. Now, the other kind of left lane hog driver are these self-righteous angry people. Okay. Now, they are also poorly educated in terms of driving because, one, they don't know that what they're doing is legal. I'm, I'm hoping. Let's say, they, let's say they did. That's even worse. But either way... When a person is so angry at others or the world because they believe that somebody else is driving a car that they think is nicer than them, or they're enjoy that somebody else is enjoying their day more, or that somebody else may be speeding, it's not that person's right 
to be a vigilante, because that's effectively what you think you're doing. You're not Batman, okay? You're not a cop. And if you were a cop, you wouldn't be dealing with it that way. So the ends, your emotional ends of thinking you're policing the highway at that time do not justify your means. Because the point of my video, Left Lane Losers, that I was showing at times was to be clogging the left lane, whether you're just simply uneducated or having this weird self-righteous tangent or for whatever reason, blocking traffic like that so traffic can't flow and it stacks up creates a dangerous situation for literally everyone on the highway. It flat out does. One guy loses control, one person gets road rage, whatever. The next thing you know, you got a multi-car pileup that could have been caused simply because of poor lane discipline like that. And none of us need to risk our lives or our cars or just our efficient usage of time for that. So this video in response to my left lane losers or left lane hog video earlier is simply saying, guys, girls, everybody, lane discipline, do not hog the lane. Look at your mirrors. If you look at your gauges, you should be looking at your mirror just as often. If there's somebody coming up behind you, you, you need to find a place to get over or move over. If traffic is piling up, you're creating a dangerous situation, regardless of the speed that you're going at. Okay? So for the people out there, the keyboard warriors and whatnot, that want to try to undercut my point I am making about lane discipline by trying to invalidate the argument by saying that other people are speeding or I was speeding, even though I wasn't. Um, guys, l let's all be adults here and, and move on from that. I would implore uh, the, I don't know if it's the Department of Transportation or whatnot, uh, and whoever it is that creates the curriculum for driver's ed and the tests to put this on there. This is a an obvious major problem in the United States. A major problem that relates to safety, that relates to our economy, frankly. Because if goods and services and people can't get to work efficiently, not saying fast, just efficiently and quickly, we're having a tangible loss to our nation and economy. And quite frankly, our insurance rates are going to be higher, our damaged our cars are higher, and we're risking more lives. The fact that my channel with 30,000 subscribers is giving 140,000 views in a week and a half and 4,200 comments says that people are fired up about this and it's a major problem. So... Um, I don't um, have any negative feelings towards those left lane hogs, whether you're doing it out of spite or just simply out of a lack of education. Uh, I would simply implore everybody out there, if you know about it, to learn to nicely try to educate other people so that we can get better. Because we all know how slow and inefficient the government is at helping anything happen. <laughs> So let's all just try to be better drivers out there together so we can enjoy our time on the highway, have nicer lives, and frankly, a better nation for it. In the meantime, you guys, I hope if you like this video that you will share it, please. Uh, and then on my channel, please like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys next time.